Christine, the people we spoke with say that is one of their biggest fears, sending their kids to school and not having them come back home. I'm tired of it. It's another mass shooting. Like, why is this still happening? Seeing the heartbreaking images of terrified parents in Uvalde, Texas, not knowing if their children, elementary school kids, are alive or dead, is something parents here in L.A. pray they never have to deal with. It's pretty devastating. You know, you send your kids to, uh, to school and expect to have them a safe environment and to see the news of, you know, multiple children and also teachers getting killed, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty sad. The last thing you want to do is send your child to school and not have them come home. And that's something we have to worry about in this country constantly. Like, I personally don't want children because of the risk of just, like, sending them off to public school and not having them come back is so high. Holden Bray, who lived in Europe, is fed up with the number of shootings in this country. I used to live in France, so living in France and being able to take public transportation and all that and not worrying about shootings all the time was incredible. And their opinions on Americans not having gun control is like, why? Why are you guys not doing this? Like, it's so simple. Of course it would happen again. I'm not surprised. Madeline Rodriguez doesn't know how to solve this problem. She just knows something needs to be done to stop the mass shootings. A friend of mine commented on the fact that there are people still denying Parkland. And, like, what are you going to do if it's a state that, like, likes guns? I'm from Texas, so I'm like, of course this would happen again, but I hate thinking that because it shouldn't be that way. Condolences to the family. Neela, who is a therapist, believes the solution to these horrific acts of violence is taking care of one's mental health, being kind to strangers, and most importantly, being kind to yourself. The only reason anybody could kill or hurt anybody is because they don't know how important or special they are. Because had that 18-year-old truly understood what a precious soul he was, um, likely he wouldn't had enough sadness and self-hate to go harm other people. One parent told us when he hears of tragedies like this one, he spends more time with his kids, hugs them a little bit tighter, and appreciates the little things in life that we take for granted. Alex, Christine, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.